Bro, Jet back again, and in this one, it's another night game. Love it under the lights. Friday night as well. What else are you gonna do on a Friday night? Yes, I ain't jumped on my Xbox in a while. I might do that. But then I'll literally be sitting there for an hour and a half watching updates happen. Maybe I could watch one of those really cheap American Christmas films. You know, the ones that you don't actually know any of the actors, but it's actually really well shot. Nine times out of ten, it's about a single mum. Gonna be another Christmas just her and the kid. Her best friend wants her to meet someone. Her kid wants her to meet someone. She meets someone, doesn't think they're right. The location that they met was probably a coffee shop. Actually, no, she works in the coffee shop and he's like very high up at a company. She earns hardly anything. He's a high roller. They couldn't possibly be together, could they? But you ask her out on a date. She's reluctant, but she does it. Everything's good until she realizes he's not around enough. This isn't the relationship she wants. It's starting to look like her previous relationship. The dad doesn't even want to know. She just needs someone that's going to look out for her and her kid. But don't worry, they get you at the end. He's supposed to be on a business trip in South Carolina, but actually, he surprises them. He's home for Christmas. Everything's good. End credits. Or we could go and watch a game, and that's exactly what we did, because I'm bringing you a video. We're off to Halstead Town, or Halstead Town. I'm pretty sure it's Halstead Town. They were founded in 1879. They play their football in the Eastern Counties League, Division 1, South, and that is at Rosemary Lane. Now, this team is so far down the ladder that I don't really know any more information about the ground, so I can't tell you the capacity. I'm jumping on social media. Yo, what's the capacity at Rosemary Lane? Asking for a friend. Little, um... Thingy emoji. I think that's got to be my most used emoji. Let me know yours in the comments below. Interaction with viewers. Check. Anyway, I'm on a road. It's called the 1089. It's taking me to Tilbury. I don't want to go Tilbury, so I'm going to take the slip road towards Grace. There's plenty of places on the left in Grace, including this one, the ship, as this guy pulls out on me. My thoughts on him. Prick. Yep, spot on, Smith. What on earth is going on up there? As you can see, we've reached the... Oh, this guy doing it as well. Yep, as you can see, we've reached the width restriction that nobody wants to go through apart from me. And it's this time of the video where we look back at what happened last time. What happened last time? Where did we go? Birmingham. <laughs> Yep, six hour round trip it was. And of course, in that one, I asked for 10,000 likes. And for the first time in a few weeks, we didn't hit the target. So if you happen to miss that one, go and check it out. Drop a like as well. Let's see if we can still hit the target. As for this particular video, it still stands. We want the 10,000 likes for an on-the-road video. Drop a like for Friday Night Football. Drop a like for non-league football. Drop a like for on-the-road yet back again. Also, drop a like because I need a new camera, so maybe it will help. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not too sure how the uh, YouTube algorithm works these days. Anyway, Beyonce eventually called. She did give us the green light, but it took a while, I must say. And now, as you can see, we're entering this complex. And it's this complex, which is the home of our co-host. Of course, it's Charlie. I'm Red D. <laughs> I'm not Red D, but I am ready. Ready to take the 1 hour and 15 trek to Halstead Town Football Club. So let go. And as per, it starts with a big road. It's the M25. Then I'm jumping on the A12, also known as the A12. It's pretty dark on this road, I'm not going to lie. The only lights we're able to see are the ones of cars and the moon in the sky. Beautiful. However, we are now being told to get on the A414, also known as the A414. Traffic. And when bored in traffic, I always try and find words out of the number plate. So far, I've got GIMP. I do make it a little bit easier for myself. I make one's eyes, so don't don't try and quiz me on that. Anyway, we're going again. And on the left, we've got loads of lights, loads of floodlights. It's not a football pitch. It's not a rugby pitch. It's actually a dog track. Consider going down the dogs, but we've got a game to see. The sign on the left confirms we are now in Braintree and Bocking. So it is Navius. What are we doing? It's the What do I do? Pretend to be a donut, don't I? I take the first exit, which puts us onto a motorway in the opposite direction. I've just added nine minutes to our journey. But don't worry, nine minutes later, I'm seeing a sign for Halstead. As we drive into this village, it's quite clear that Christmas is a thing. Although Halstead FC are known as the humbugs, so as far as Scrooge is concerned, he won't be expecting any lights or decorations within the ground. Where is the ground anyway? It's down here within this sort of industrial estate. I'm not going to run over, don't worry. We're just going to park outside because I don't know what the car park's like. On the foot, yeah, back again as we walk down this stony path, you can see the lights in the distance. We're well, not distance, they're pretty much here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Halstead Town Football Club. I'm waving. In my shadow, can you see it? Hello. Admission, six quid, that is an absolute bargain. And so that, plus a program comes to seven pound. Thank you very much, bro. Raffle tickets, pound strip. Pound strip, I'm gonna jump on the raffle. That's another pound, let's bring it home. I just realized there wasn't any ket, 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 ket on the turnstile. Here's Charlie's attempt. Uh, hold on, oh. Away. Yeah, it wasn't the best, was it? But with the power of editing, we can go back in time. I'll use Charlie's impersonation of the imaginary turnstile as we go through. Away. And now I can say, boop, boop. So it's hard to say, my cancer hasn't defeated me yet, and you ate all the pies, and a massive football! 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 Lovely stuff. Keep it up, guys. Anyway, the club got back to me regarding capacity. About 92,000. Yeah, seems about right. We'll start things off by entering the clubhouse, at which point Charlie uses the facilities, at which point I bump into Josh, founding on the road videos. No, no. Hello. The clubhouse looks partly like a living room and partly like a service station. It's doing great. It's warm. Charlie's helping himself to free snacks at the bar. I'll start looking for the possibility of... Ah, yep, it's there. Charlie's happy. He's got a beer. I'm happy because I've got a... Twist that around. Can we just... For the shot, just twist that around. There we go. Hallelujah. 
that's another one pound spent. Charlie continues to eat snacks in the bar. Did you wash your hands in the toilet? As we check out the program, I notice in the background, Dave and Peter get the good stuff. Well done, they're men. He's then back outside to get some proper food, some proper grub. Unfortunately, it's closed. I don't really know. Oh no, it's open. Front of the queue, first in line, top of the shop. Skibbity bab bab bab. This is what it is, a kitchen where they also sell the good stuff. Oh, someone stole the vinegar. Sometime later, I get a burger and chips. I didn't ask for the chips, but I got them and I paid for them as well. Don't worry. Basically, Charlie asked for chips and I said, yeah, we're gonna pay together. So chips and a cheeseburger. And what did we get? We got chips and then chips and a cheeseburger. I spent three pound fifty on chips and a cheeseburger. That's cheaper than most cheeseburgers. I'll have that. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Charlie's opted for barbecue sauce on his chips. He's loving it. He's really impressed. The head of kick off the humbugs getting a huddle. This lad spoofs down here tonight on the road series. If you haven't checked it out, go and check it out. Obviously, cost speaks for itself. Food and drink does the job. Facilities, we can't do nothing about, can we? So he likes it. But what we can do something about is the performance on the pitch. Let's get that atmosphere up. I want no less than 18 start. Oh, oh yeah, sorry, Dave. You just walked through. I'm trying to get a shot and yeah, just spoil it. Spoil it with you. Baggy trousers and shiny shoes. I hope you're happy. I really do. So, still looking for that sponsorship in this lot. They keep ignoring me. Such a shame. You know what to do. So, it looks like they're pretty much ready to go. And this one is Halstead Town in the black and white. Currently sit third in the league. And they're facing up to an unbeaten in seven Frankfurt who sit fifth. I'm pretty confident this is going to be good. Tell me your So, a crowd of 140 tonight. And we will be making our way round towards the Ultras. Oh, Plug time, if you're looking for some fine timber windows or doors, go to Mumford and Wood. How did? You're only 54. Oh, hello, mate. How you been? Now, we are on our way around, but Charlie is obsessed by the goalkeeper. Said he's massive, but then most people are taller than Charlie. Is he big? I, I can't quite work it out. I'm not sure. Finger. And there you go. Six foot six. Six foot six. Six foot six. So I'm route around the other side. It's a hazardous trek. You can see the incline there. It's, uh, it's dangerous. Got to watch my ankles. And also, I've got to watch the mole molehills. Are they molehills? The road continues, and I found a ball. Got to be kicked. We're not steering, we're just borrowing. And here he goes. He's off, and it's hard to do it with a beer in your hand. He's having another go. He's on the incline. Beer in one hand. Fag in the other. Charlie, I thought you stopped smoking. Guys, we've got to get this sorted out. For that, I hope he fails on his keepy ups now. <laughs> like the very nice man I am, I did give the ball back. On the field, it's got to be said, we haven't really seen much. It's just been a lot of hoofing, really. Hoof. First corner of the game for the home side. It's sent in. Ed's. Just spotted a dog on a Friday. And why is it when you spot a dog, you start talking like this? Hello, boy. How you doing? Oh, yeah. The life of a subs bench. Nice boots. More mini mole heels. And some decent form from our lino on this side. Definitely part of it. Definitely part of it. Harry, we've reached the we've reached the corner. But Charlie's taking a photo of the football. It's through his Instagram. And you can follow him on there. So if you saw the last couple of on the roads, you would know that the flags have been pretty short. But this is back to regular height, I believe. Although the flag girth, well, it's lagging, isn't it? Chipolata. As you can see, we're now behind the goal. Great opportunity for Halston here. Just needs a good delivery. <sighs> Just need a good delivery, really. So Judy checks the scores in front on the pitch. Chat for a penalty. Not given, but this one certainly should be. Hey! Oh, as you know what, well, looking back here, it definitely wasn't a penalty. You can clearly see it was taken out by the invisible man outside the box. Free kick minimum. So normally at the start of the game, I pick out a player that I think is going to be doing damage. I picked out this long-haired winger who's um, kind of winging it at the moment. It's not the best of balls forward, is it? Striker can't get onto it, and it's uh, kind of hoofed away by the defender. Perhaps the quality is on the bench. Impact, you know? Well, let's hope we do see some impact soon. Best chance of the game so far. I'm a big fan of the fences. Hopefully they've been treated. They should paint in black and white stripes. That would be my suggestion. Obviously, Halstead, don't feel pressured, but I will be disappointed. So I'm fairly certain, almost 99% certain that the goalkeeper tonight is wearing gardening gloves. Ultras, songs. <laughs> Well, kind of. Meanwhile, Guiding Gloves being put to good use. Another hosted free kick. It's fairly close to the edge. It's an up and over jobby. Where's Berbatov when you need him? Yeah. Oh. Guiding Gloves put to good use there. I'm not even angry. I'm just disappointed. Charlie was disappointed about, well, the food. Listen, the chips are good, but he was promised a veggie burger. This is their reply. Broke the promises from a football club. They may well regret that. As we move on, the gym membership is considered by the hosted forward. More hoofs forward. Hoof. And this hoof straight into the keeper. <laughs> I sense sarcasm. It's just not really been a dazzling performance from either side. Trying to claw together some form of highlights, but it's just... It, nothing's really happening. Although Frenford here, they do have a corner. It's sent into the box. It's cleared by Grimsby. Uh, the wrong way, though. It's another corner. So here we go again, peering through the holes in the net. I don't know why the lino's check. Because as we all know, there's plenty. There's 11 picks it up here. Shoots, it's blocked, and that's half-time. Fucking Well... More bad news. Didn't win the raffle, did we? So we make our way round the other side. We go through the stand, which is full of red seats. Charlie would look good in there. They do play in black and white, though. Is the away kit red? It might be. So, of course, we're looking for that impact second half. See if someone can change the game. Maybe not this guy. And that's back to the shack. I got myself a non-league hot chocolate. That's a pan. It'll keep me warm for a good few weeks, I'm sure. And so we kicked off in this lot of singing again. Oh, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, the hall man. Hey. Yep, he's happy with that.
So the winger in the first half, this is exactly what I wanted him to do. Take on his man, but that's a free kick apparently. Never. They're not Abby. I'm not surprised either. Soft. So unfortunately, this didn't keep me warm for a few weeks. However, it was very nice. So if there is going to be a goal, it's looking more likely it's going to be Halstead. Another free kick swung in here. And you know what's going to happen. Oh, that sums up the game. And yet another free kick. But then at the other end, it's the number 11 for Frenford. Dive over. It's very rare that we find someone that's not part of the human rooted family. He's just not doing it for me. Granted, the arm's straight, but the body language overall just, just comes across like he doesn't care. I need you to care. Here's a passage of play I thought I'd include. I can feel it. I can feel it. What's he doing? I'm the king. Just someone shoot. Oh. He's a, he's a oh. Come on. Come on. <laughs> kind of feel like we paid six quid for Sunday League football. I'm entertained but frustrated at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> if he's not going to be goalless, there's only going to be one winner in this game. It's Halstead. Fizz! Fizz! Oh my god. I'll take that back. It's going to be goalless. Charlie's getting frustrated now. Oh, where's the... Ladies and gentlemen, with a Dr. Pepper, it's Ben. Hello. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have you know that Ben has never tried a Dr. Pepper. He's got it here. It's the first time he's having it. It's all right. It's just all right. I mean, it was a waste, wasn't it? Just a quick confirmation. Him over there. He's part of the human ruler family because he is straight. Well, as a ruler. While this lad gets his cramps sorted out, much like Charlie, I posted my football on the Instagram. You can follow him now. These people replied. Hopefully, you got in the video. If you did, great. If not, my sincere apologies. Very late on, one team passes to another. A hoof, which eventually goes up the other end. Replied with a, a hoof, and then that's going to be a whistle. Oh, oh man. man. Charlie's thoughts on the game? All right, well, let's rate this experience. This lot, they didn't shut up, did they? It was a frustrating game to watch, but they stay positive. They kept going. And it's really good to see that a team of Halstead's level has actually attracted youngsters into the non-league game. So fair play. The atmosphere itself, it wasn't like electric, but it was very much present. I'm going to go down the middle, two and a half stars. Next up, we're talking facilities. Actually, this is a decent ground considering the level that we're at. I'm not sure of the requirements at this level, but I'm pretty sure that the ground is better than it needs to be. Perhaps Halstead were a bit higher at one point. Maybe they dropped down a bit. I don't know. Maybe I should read a book. Obviously, we're talking relevant to the level that we're at. It's going to be a three-star stadium for this level. Moving on to the food and drink. Charlie was baited down here, wasn't he? Didn't get his veggie burger. Very disappointed. Had his chips, though. Very nice. I had chips, too. Very nice. Burger. Very, very nice. Dr. Pepper included. All in all, four stars. Well done. Finally, we're talking cost. You know where this is going, don't you? Six quid is the cheapest ticket that we've ever had in the On The Road series, other than Hashtag United, who put on a free promotion day. I've got a cheeseburger and chips for the same price as what I do a normal cheeseburger. Quids all round for drinks, programs, and raffle tickets. I got the lot for £13.50. Everything's great until it got on the pitch. I mean, it, yeah, we... I'm glad it was cheap because if it was any more expensive, it would have been less than this. We're talking four stars here. So overall, that gives House to the total of 13.5 and they sit in between the Bill Town and the Cambridge United in 21st. Happy days for them. Just a shame we saw a goalless draw. But as I always say at non-league, this is what it's all about. Players and fans connected. And yeah, that keeper is massive. Of course, I'll be keeping one eye on House to the Town. See how they do this season. They may get promoted. You never know. But anyway, we're getting the hell out of here. Through the exit, of course. Down a stony path to the car, which I didn't film. And just like that, we're back on a very dark mate away where it's pissing down. And it's also where I'm going to end this video. But before you go, please 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 head down hit that like button we're looking for 10,000 likes and also hit that subscribe button click the bell for notifications to let you know when a new video is out there's a whole playlist for the on the road over 50 games so if you're bored you fancy a binge you're welcome and of course as i always say we'll see you in the next one